Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gemba Red, and today we're going to be finishing up our review on pulsed panels from Alibaba. These are a lot of brand new models that came from Alibaba. These are uh, including, um, they all have pulse modes. Um, most of them have dim dimming modes, so you can dim it. Uh, and, you know, and they got little control screens and, you know, slightly different features for all of them. And, uh, you know, generally just very high powered, packed with a lot of LEDs. Um, so, you know, again, this is where you go. Um, if you want to start your own business with, with red light therapy, uh, now's the time to get on the bandwagon with, with the, the new generation of pulse panels. Or obviously if you want to try out a pulse panel uh, that's generally a little bit cheaper than what you can get uh, from, you know, from a name brand. And um, generally, you know, they have more features than say Juve. You know, Juve's a little bit more restrictive with uh, only pulsing the near infrared at 10 hertz. And a lot of these have, have a lot of different options. So, you know, they're trying to differentiate, you know, themselves. We've got the Red Dot RD Pro 1500 first up. Then we've got the Escrow A1200 uh, right here. Then we've got the Idea Lite uh, RL Max 300. And then we've got the Sun Glore. Uh, I think it's just like SG-1000 or something. Um, and then we've got actually the Sadie light. Uh, I think it's the BS-1000 series. And I have tested this one before, but um, it still still holds up against all, all these ones. The only thing this one's lacking is the handle that apparently uh, next, genera <laughs> next generation feature is also that they have a handle on it so you can kind of scoop your your hand in here uh, they all have handles this one all even the giant ones have handles and apparently you know obviously that's also another um kind of carryover from juve juve introduced uh handles on the back of their panels uh you know but i caution these alibaba companies not just to mindlessly copy juve's features because most of the juve's features are for marketing and not really for effectiveness and Juve's panels, you know, for the handle are made out of plastic, so they're much more cheap, cheaper and lightweight. And so it makes sense. You got a handle and you scoop it up. It's very lightweight. These are like 25 pound panels. So it's kind of deceiving. And they're like, oh, it's got a handle that fits, you know, perfectly fits one hand. And then you're like, whoa, this, you know, this is a lot more heavy than than you expect uh you know so don't get fooled that <laughs> the handle is is your friend here so don't don't yank your arm out all right let's uh let's get going we want to try to do this rapid fire we're just going to test the continuous mode i've got a couple separate videos uh you might have already seen where i uploaded uh some some odd things about the pulsing and and different things we can't go through every single feature because you know it's it's just too much and uh, you know how much extra benefit are you really getting from all these these extra features so let's just look at the continuous modes let's start here um this one's got the most intricate control panel oh here we go this one's got the most intricate uh panel i think uh it's trying to be reminiscent of uh what platinum led does with the full 100 percent red or near infrared dimming um, but let's just get it get it going. Zero, no pulsing. This one can only do up to 20 hertz pulsing, and they and this one only pulses near infrared. Uh, but otherwise, you know, it looks looks pretty good. Um, we can check. We're just gonna try to do these tests pretty quick, so that way we're not doing this all day. Make sure we're lined up about. 12 inches away. Oops. So we got um, 67, not sure if the lighting's gonna work with us today, 67 for the intensity measurement. Uh, flicker percent is 1.2, so you know, they're all very low, low, um, low flicker and that's good. Um, EMS 1.6 even at 12 inches away um, just so you can see you know the ambient um, milligauss is only you know, 0.42 so uh, it's really not that bad so we do get a jump up 
even at 12 inches away. So it's very powerful. And again, you know, so you would naturally stand 12 inches away anyway. So I think the recommendations for people is to at least start 12 inches away, probably even further. You probably want to be under, I, you know, I tell people you want to be under 50. And that's what most of the science I've read uh, is pretty consistent that you want to be under 50, especially for full body coverage. Uh, okay, let's look at the escrow. How do I do this here? This one's got all the buttons on the front. It's got the, the timer button. This is for the dimming. And then this is for different pulsing. So just on the continuous mode now, let's try to run a couple of measurements. Let's try to center my little setup here. About 12 inches. Take a couple measurements. That's at 60. Uh, Flicker is very low, less than a percent, and EMF is about one. So, one, you know, 1 1.1. So not too bad. 12 inches away. Again, the intensity is super high. The last one was over 60. This one's 60. Uh, you know, that's super high. Again, obviously, uh, these numbers don't mean much to people because most companies only tell you the the solar power meter measurement so uh you know you're kind of on your own to to figure out any any realistic kind of dosing uh all right let's turn that off this you know and then you, it gets complicated just to manually turn something off i have to cycle through to you know a couple button presses just to get it off so you know with all these extra settings it gets just gets more and more complicated just to turn it on and off. Let's take a couple. Yeah, so this one's 74. Uh, again, yeah, we're we're still at 12 inches away. 74. Let's turn that back up. You know, less than a percent, 0.6 percent. So super low percent and uh very low uh emf apparently so very very good this is the idea light so we just did the escrow now we're on idea light and so everything looks really good you know it's obviously bigger so you you know you should expect a little bit more power uh but it's good they got got a very low uh emf here too so again you know i would mostly use these as a normal panel and just stand further away not deal with a lot of the extraneous features like even the pulsing and whatnot um but you know i guess guess people just kind of want to have them to to feel like they've got extra value like the american mindset you gotta have value um all right so let's see this one is gonna go on no it's not on. oh now it's on okay so this sun glore there's some sort of uh pulsing going on. Maybe I accidentally put on pulsing. There we go. No pulsing. All right. Uh, so this is from Sunglore. I think, you know, they're more of a kind of a trade company. I'm not sure where they get their panels, but you know, you can get good prices from a, a trade company and they've got, you see the more yellowish ones. So they, they kind of can do, um, standard, uh, stock problem, you know, products as, uh, multiple wavelengths and you know again they're all manufacturers so you can ask them for multiple wavelengths if you really want um, let's see let's get a couple of measurements uh, let's line it up with the center a little bit more okay so flicker is a little higher 3.1 um, you know, it's not terrible, but still higher. Um, you know, the intensity is 48. You know, that's a good intensity. It's, it's effective. Uh, it's what we expect for a smaller panel, um, with less LED. So it's nothing out of the ordinary. Um, but again, even at 12 inches away, we're doing really good, uh, getting a sufficient intensity. Um, and, uh, milligauss is very low. So, it's like practically no change from ambient, so so that's great. So 
a little higher flicker uh you know naturally we expected a little bit lower power but uh still a very good very good power all right let's get to this uh sadie panel i, I might have already tested this on a previous video but it still holds up it still holds up last time i checked the power is cranking on this let's see so we got power i want both red and near infrared okay So look at this, this is 73.6. So uh, like I said, this is a little bit older of a panel. Actually, I had it for maybe a year now. And the rest of these are like fresh, fresh out the box that just arrived within the past uh, week or two. And this one is, is older, but still really holds up. Look at that intensity is really high, 12 inches away. Um, 0.6% flicker, really low. Sadie has probably been one of the first panel Alibaba companies that reduce the flicker massively and uh you know so so all their panels i expect them to be very low flicker and then the uh, milgauss is 0.9 so um it's pretty good less than less than one milgauss uh so again you know all these panels are really good just as continuous mode and then you know we get into a lot of funny business go to my blog i just published a big blog about these panels going through a lot more of the details um, and then, like I said, we've got a couple of shorter videos that go over a couple of the weird details, but, uh, just as continuous mode panels, they all really hold up very well. Very impressive to see low flicker and low EMFs and, uh, very high intensities, even at 12 inches away. So, uh, can't really go wrong with any of them. Um, but there's some funny business with the pulsing that, you know, I think all the suppliers could do a little bit better with how they deal with pulsing so far. Um, but, uh, you know, that's, that's why we do these reviews and give them feedback and give the consumer feedback and you can talk to the suppliers too and, uh, let them know what you're looking for in a panel. Uh, like, you know, some of them, this one only does no gear frequencies and, uh, some of them have limited ranges or they're not really hitting the right Hertz. Um, so, you know, we got to work on that. So, um, this, this is all we're trying to get in early on this, give the reviews, have people kind of thinking about this rather than you know letting some companies that don't really know what they're doing kind of make things up as they go along so hopefully this helps and uh we can wrap up this this review